All right, so let me give you a little tour inside our 1976 uh, Trillium. Uh, where are we at here? There we go, our 1976 Trillium trailer. Uh, I just took it out of storage, actually. But I have the, uh, as you can see, it has In great shape uh, obviously you'll see from the photos uh, that I'll post on Kijiji uh, now we've done quite a bit of work inside this thing uh, but we want to keep its authentic look uh, authentic meaning its retro look hopefully this video turns out pretty good I'll try to take my time here a uh, little pouch here in the front we kind of kept the little journal in there of different places we went camping to We've set it up with hardwood flooring. Really nice. I mean, this thing's just beautiful. Every time we've gone to uh, trailer parks, provincial parks, we constantly have people saying, can we come and have a look inside your trailer? Uh, we're familiar with these and everybody has a kind of a unique look to their own. All the foam in here has been completely, completely replaced uh, with high density quality foam and obviously uh, good quality fabric, uh, you know, uh, very well stitched. It has a double piping stitch to it. Accent pillows. All the curtains have been redone in here as well, as well as we have additional fabric that we've kept to make sure that down the line, if we ever needed to replace, some of the uh, curtains because they do kind of kind of fade from the outside because of the UV. But the uh, instead of my bouncing around, let me just start with the uh, you know we've got the uh, the main bench here, the back bench sofa we call uh, that converts into uh, a bunk. So no problem for the amount of weight that's in the bottom. At the top, I mean, it's great for a child. I certainly wouldn't put an adult on top of there. Lots of lighting in this trailer. What's nice is a lot of the Trillium trailers don't have this top bracket on both sides, which is nice for just excess. You can never have enough storage in a small trailer. There's a lot of plenty of storage underneath the seats, as you can see access to one side we keep your dog bowls in here and you name it I mean you can keep whatever you want once you make it your own small refrigerator nothing big we tend to use the uh, our coolers a lot take out to the beach and so on storage on the side all your face fronts on here have all been replaced with solid maple uh, I guess what was originally in here was a, a dark chestnut brown, which made it very old looking. Uh, we've set up the side here, kept this original look, a side table, which is really nice. You can never have enough tabletop. I find when you travel to a small trailer like this, you really have to think things through. You know, uh, because you have limited space in here, again, a lot of storage on the inside. Just bear with me here. There we go. And again, on this side, everything's a little bit of a, uh, a chaos because, I, uh, as mentioned, I took it out of storage. We do have the, uh, a vent on the top. Dual burner. Works perfectly fine. Your sink, your sink, you can actually have your city water at a trailer park or a manual pump, which the inside holding tank is right underneath that seat right there. That's pretty much what we use most times because we're always on the go. And we really don't drink the water anyhow, so it's really just for, for washing and storage at the top here again. Now, the, this main large door had all the 
the original specs in behind. So what I did is I did a cutout and I've kept all the specs, you know. Again, just trying to keep the uh, this trailer as authentic as possible, you know. Lots of storage. Again, lots of storage underneath the sink. This tabletop, I don't know if you can see it. It has kind of like a, a metal finish, uh, which is like a golden, a gold top to it. It has a pull-out drawer here for your utensils. Your heater. Your heater has to be lit manually. Uh, kind of like old school, but the uh, works perfectly, perfectly fine. There is wiring set up in behind here. Uh, it's actually covered up in behind this canvas. Uh, if somebody wanted to put a stereo system or maybe a small television. And my battery is getting low on my camera, so I'll have to end this pretty quick. Uh, but I just want to show you underneath the seats again, lots of storage. Now the main dinette here converts into a double. So you can literally sleep four in here. Uh, we're three in our family and two dogs. Uh, believe it or not, we make it happen. So there you go. I hope a, uh, you got a better visual, especially, uh, I mean, people that are wanting to buy these little trailers are, are people that are specifically looking for these. Uh, so if you're from out of town, I hope this certainly helped you out a lot. And the, uh, don't hesitate if you have any further questions, but the, uh, all I can tell you is that this thing's in really great condition. Uh, I'm familiar with these. I know what their value is. Uh, you know, I do buy and sell a little bit on the side. I've been doing it for 15 years. There's certain things I tend to hold on to a little bit longer. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, the only reason why I said, like, uh, you know, we're considering selling this thing is because we've upgraded to a, a Bigfoot 17. Anyhow, hope you've enjoyed the video, and thank you very much.